Welcome back to the garden. Let's try practice the Jinji uh, Duri, this movement. Our first step will be simple. Just stand here, up your other leg. When you start, don't just stand up. So when you start, you need to adjust your breath. Let your breath come, adjust your mind. Let your mind calm down and the peace. Now you start from here. Just move your body weight. Hold it. That's it. Just like that. This movement will challenge you for one minute. And the second one we're going to practice is the same thing, but close your eyes. Same. When you close your eyes, for the first three or five seconds, it's hard. But you have to keep thinking, concentrate hard to let yourself to stay. Okay? Because suddenly you close your eyes, whoa, everything's gone. But that is a good time to practice your muscles, your mind, your nerves, to adjust them. Oh, where I am I? I need to stay there. Okay, and then the third step we're going to do is a similar thing, but now I need to up you like a knee. The knee close your chest. The feet is a straight, not like a strong, especially your thigh. Okay, in this case, you can more open your arms, give you more balance. The arm is like wind. Okay, and uh, when you up the leg, whoa, whoa, you also can practice this leg. The thigh, because they need to lead the knee up, and also practice the hip. Okay, this is the third step for your practice. And um, this movement, it's a help practice your joint, your ankle. You see the ankle is under here. When you're up, you like, they keep moving, find the adjustment to support your body. This is training the angles very much. Okay, the second one is practice the, your thigh and your calf. Okay, let them stay and strong to keep the movement. This is for physical. And for mental, we're training is more focus. You must be making the whole movement as one picture stay in your mind. And must be keep push yourself to stay there to hold the movement and keep conquer yourself balance them like sometimes we like this ah, you need to strong your mind keep fighting them back and stay so this is mental mental movement working both physical and mental also why we call this as chicken stance so you can see the movement eh? When the chicken is moving, ah, wah, ah, hey. so this is the chicken stand. That's how we said it's a chicken stand. So Jinji Duli. Then we, how are we going to apply it for later on? This is just for foundation or for health, fitness, to training, to keep a balance. But more than more you practice, more than more you master the movement you can apply this movement you will notice this you can change it like this you can change it like this defense yeah and you can this all is use this jinji duli basic foundation movement okay then you can kick you can kick or you can kick so those all is this balance and also when you're training this movement you don't need the space you don't need a big space, you, didn't, you don't need to prepare too much, like warm up and warm down. You know, it's just simple. You can train there anywhere, even in your kitchen, when you drink a cup of tea. So you notice my feet, uh, just up. Now you can just like, okay, you can do something, uh, toast or something. <laughs> Always you can try hold there, right? And other like, you know, when you're waiting like a toast, or you're waiting like a microwave or something, uh, you're cooking, you always can practice. This is again, and also a good training is that my prefer is like a uh, washing teeth so in the morning, huh? Jinji Duli, like a shh, 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 shh. Uh, 
more you move the arm, this leg and the ankles will really work to help you because your body moves, they find it's hard to support. So your body moves, this ankles, knee, keep adjust. That really helps your muscles training and keep your body stay. Okay, in the end, when you're training very well, you don't need this muscle tense. Then you need to concentrate and try to relax the muscle. Let the muscle naturally to support, rather than keep strong to support your balance. If that makes sense. That's in the um, more high level, so you can let the muscle relax down naturally. Let them try to support your movement. You may feel the leg very tight, your calf very tight after this. So by the way, after this one, you can try a little bit stretch. Okay, for example, make a toes back like this. If you stretch your calf and release your ankles. For example, find some like a wall or something. Okay, use your feet, use the heel, close the wall. A more smaller gap. Then keep the leg straight. At the same time, slowly push your body forward. That's it. Now you can feel the calf, the big tendon being stretched. And for the ankles, for the ankle stretch, the knee must be bent. Why we bent? Because once you bend, here is more space. You can stretch, you see that? Stretch, nice and soft. If you like a straight on, it's less a space to on your ankle, but it's more stretch on your back tendon. So that will help release the muscles. And also that will help as well after take it. Same time stretch. Just light, just very light, shaking the muscle to release it. Okay, that's how the movement works.